Right. Fast forward, something I should have been done since like the very first video since I got this car. Uh, it is my valve cover. Uh, I painted it wrinkle red finally and it looks sick. Look at that. Sheesh! Yo, what is going on, guys? So today is actually the Elite Tuner car show. Uh, we're going to go as regular civilians. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm on my way to meet my brother. Uh, so we could head out to the show together. My dad is me speeding. Okay. Got the bracelets. Shit. Watch out, bro. <laughs> that looks sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two phone, one for trapping, another on the low. She like two tone, never call it when she all alone. Where do you get this? Uh, 
Scum 2. Scum 2 cam gears? Yeah. And he's turbo. Like that. Very hard. How much do you think he's pushing? How does he even drive? And he got the speakers in the back. The gas people while, while bumping music, bro. Yo, what is going on, guys? Um, this is now officially part eight <coughs> of the EG build. The last one was cut short due to some difficulties. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, but you already know what's up. If I do a cold start real quick on the Z, because you surf, so yeah. <laughs> So I ain't gonna put it all in my coilovers. Only the front ones are installed. The rear ones, I just kept the stock ones. So what I'm gonna do right now is just take off these OEM ones and put my coilovers on. So, yeah. All right, and now let's get them from the trunk on the top. All right, the stock shocks are out. Now the function form coilover is going in. I, I plug in the battery now. Uh, this is the first sign of the EG being alive. So I'm gonna turn on the switch. As you can see, the brake light is on, the SRS light is on. Oh, and I just hit my windshield wipers. <laughs> um, and then the truck light. So it's working so far. Check this out. <laughs> This one's missing a button, but I mean, it's all good, whatever. <laughs> all right, I turn on my four reflashers, and you can see it is operating. So is this side, and I check the headlights. They are also operating. So is this side. <laughs> yes, sir. It has life, it has power, it's alive. Not engine wise yet though, not yet. Almost. I am now I'm gonna do something that I probably should have done a while back, and that is paint my valve cover wrinkle red. For real this time, I know I always say I'm gonna paint my valve cover, but I never have. But but now I am going to paint my valve cover. I have it masked up already. This is like this uh aluminum kind of tape that I put on there and I carved it out. Just so I could keep the Dog V Tech and the Honda Motor Co. logo on there. So, yeah, I don't really care about this inside part because, I mean, the ignition wire is going to go right here. It's going to be covered by the ignition wire cover. I'll put a carbon fiber one on there. Uh, so, it doesn't really matter about this inside part. So, I'm just going to paint everything. Uh, I'm going to get some alcohol first, rub it off with a nice clean towel, and I'm going to start adding layers on there. All right, here's the valve cover, all cleaned up. I put some alcohol on there. Uh, I'm just put the wrinkle red. All right, so I'm gonna do a few coats. First, I like maybe three coats, I wanna say. I've done this one time before on a uh, D-series valve cover. I a D-16 that I was gonna build, but so yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, I think that should be good for the first coat. So a pretty light coat. You see, there's still a little bit of gray that you can see, but for the first coat, that should be good. Yep. Let that dry for about 30 minutes. Um, and I'll go at it and add another coat on top. So yeah, like a plus from AutoZone, this stuff is great. VHT, this stuff is great. All right, so now while that valve cover is over there drying, I'm just test out my uh, 
my downpipe, see how it fits, see how it looks, see kind of how like the idea of the way it flows out to the back of the exhaust. But yeah, here's the downpipe. All right, the downpipe is in. It's not bolted all the way on though. I just finger tightened it. But for the most part, that's how it's gonna sit either way, so. And I do need to get a test pipe, but I'm not really worried about that. Super cheap. So downpipe comes to here. Like it's a test pipe, and then to the rest of the cat bag exhaust system. Uh, but yeah. This thing looks sick on here. Uh, I don't want to bolt it on completely until I get the piping, uh, which is on its way soon. But yeah, I do have my Honda ECU. I forgot to plug that in, which I'm gonna plug in right now. Supposedly, the guy I got it from it says it revs to 9k, um, and it has two step. Apparently, I don't know. I haven't tried it out. Don't know how that works, but <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out. Yeah, there's the ECU. About to plug that in. Honda. All right, now for the second coat. All right, and now to hit it off with that third coat, the third and final coat. So far, looking pretty crisp, though. Look at that. Sheesh. This third coat is about to add the final touches. Once I take off the uh, the masking tape that I put on there, once I take that off, it's gonna look nice. I'm like shiny silver Doc VTEC Honda Motor Co on it. All right, fast forward. Something I should have been done since like the very first video since I got this car. Uh, it is my valve cover. Uh, I painted wrinkle red finally, and it looks sick. Look at that. Sheesh. Still hasn't completely dried yet. Uh, I just took off the masking from it, but wow, that looks so much better. I'll go ahead and test fit it onto my my car, see how it looks. It looks pretty sick. Alright, that's how it looks on the car. I'm gonna just let it dry. So get that wrinkle look, but that, that looks so much better. That looks clean. And then with this carbon fiber cap on there. See all oh, backwards. Get the final touches. Ah, oh, look at this. Shit. That looks sick. That looks crazy. Looks way better than the other one. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. So that is going to conclude part A of the EG build. I'm thinking this is going to be a, like done by part 10. So I'm going to just do 10 parts of this build. Uh, it should be done. So again, I said should because something always happens. But I'm going to aim to make this a 10-part series. So, yeah. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Like I